Hey y'all and welcome back. This is going to be our last video pertaining to the mixer window here in Superior 2, but I just want to go ahead and cover a couple of little things. For example, here is your fader. This will control the volume output for that particular channel. Right here you'll see the solo and mute buttons. Here's your pan fader right here. And as I mentioned with the easy mixer, you got a problem with phase cancellation? That's not a problem. Go ahead and utilize the phase reverse option right there. But more to the point, I just want to give you a quick recap of everything. We'll start off with the channel presets. Use this whenever you want to get up and running really fast, courtesy of the people at Tune Track. Here's your effects insert section. Click an empty box. Choose your insert. Rock and roll. Here's your bus send section. Click on an available slot. Send it to wherever you need it to go. Customize that bus name by double clicking and typing in whatever you need it to say, and then it'll appear as such. Here in the bleed control, you can operate the master bleed by turning that knob. You can mute all the bleeds. You can get into the individual bleed section, select all. You can do phase reversal on the individual bleed or not. You can choose multiple channels by holding down command on a Mac or control on a PC and clicking and then controlling those choices as a group. The orange light indicates partial bleed on that channel. The brighter light indicates all the channels are bleeding onto this mic channel right here. Now what does the fade slider do? Well, it's going to go ahead and shave off the tail of anything you might not want with that particular sample. Let me go ahead and solo this channel out and show you real quick. Hear that there? And you can do that on any of the mic channels. Let's come on down here to our ambient channel and try that out real quick. It's like you're adjusting the cutoff or the release. Now you may be asking yourself what the point of this particular video is. Well, in a nutshell, it's just to show you that although this may seem a little overwhelming at first, I assure you it's not. It's very easy to operate. It's very easy to navigate, okay? All you have to do is get in there, and in no time, mixing these drums is going to seem like a second nature to you. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.